Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth. My pronouns are she, her. Welcome to my floss tube channel, Savory Sewing. This is a channel where I talk about my cross stitching and can occasionally other sewing. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram at Savory Sewing. Today I am going to do a finished parade of everything I finished in 2023. Uh, so I'm going to show you everything I still have at my house and also photos of the things that I have gifted. I've also decided to break this up into sections based on kind of arbitrary, well they're not arbitrary because they, they do make sense, but arbitrary for me uh, categories related to what I, um, how I group things when I stitch. Rather than show them to you in chronological order because um, I did not start floss tubing until I think my first floss tube was July 31st. So you've seen on, if you've been watching since I began filming, this should be video 13, uh, you'll seen a lot of um, like the seeds, some of the like Halloween and Christmas pieces already because I have been showing to that, showing them to you as I film. And I also did a full on Halloween finish parade of every Halloween or spooky themed thing that I'd ever stitched back in October. So I decided I would group these into about four categories, which are birds, Christmas, Halloween and spooky, craftivism, and then other because there are some things that I only have like one of, like I have one spring thing, I think. Um, so, um, and I decided to do that. So in case you've already watched my Halloween finish parade, you might not want to watch through and see all of my Halloween finishes again, or I just, in my last video, showed all the Christmas ornaments that I finished over the last three years. Um, very few of them, only one of them I think was this year's finish, but Anyway, that's that's what I decided I was going to do just so that folks could pick and choose if they so desired all or, you know, just watch all the way through um, if you want to see all the things that I finished. So with that, let's get started. All right, so the first uh, things I'm going to show you are all the bird patterns that I've stitched this year. And I have I think seven of them. Um, most of them I have here because they, they're for me. So the first one that I finished in 2023 was this. This is Long Eared Owl by Lindy Stitches. This was a Bird Crush Club pattern. I stitched this on 32 Count Lugana by Fiberless Shishemi Fibers. I believe this is, uh, I think this is Frosty Mint. I stitched this, all, this with all the called for floss, uh, which is DMC and one Threadworks, which came with the club kit. I know this pattern is now available on Lindy Stitches website and probably from local you know, workshops as well. But I really, I really love this little guy. He was a lot of stitching and he stitched, he's fully finished in a modern hoopla frame. Uh, I bought a set of these to put all of my Bird Crush Club birds and they're all finished the same. So I'm going to show you, I have a second Bird Crush Club bird that I also finished this year. And it is this one. This is Lewis's Woodpecker. Look how cute he is. He's so cheerful. Uh, he is stitched on, I believe this is 16 count picture, this plus Valor. Again, stitched with all the called for DMC and the Threadworks. And in this case, the thread works is that tree. Do you see that beautiful variegation there? Um, I think it's called like deep chocolate um, and it's really beautiful. Again, finished in the same, the same modern hoopla frame. I really love these birds and I have, I only have three birds left. So I have a plan to finish them in 2024. Um, if you watch Tara from Wilder Woman Crafts. She's actually just about, or maybe has, because I haven't watched her, her last uh, Flossmas update, finished all 12 of them this year, which is really impressive. Um, okay, so the next one that I've got is also another fully finished, and it is this, and I actually, I really love this. Uh, this is Birdhouse Block by Ink Circles, and this was a Patreon pattern from I think 2022 or 20, let's see, I finished it this year. When did I start it? Hang on. I finished it, started it in November of 22. So I'm pretty sure it was a 2022 Patreon pattern. And I'll put it up close so you can see. It's very cute. I stitched it in dinky dies on, I don't even know what this fabric is. 
I think it's under the C from an ornament pack, but I don't know what the color is. I don't remember. But I did stitch it with dinky dyes. The colors are, you know, reflective of what, of the DMC shades that, that Tracy Horner from Ink Circles had called for. I had purchased some dinky dyes, oops, packs, and I would, wanted to test them out, so I thought this would be a good, nice, small, and it's really cute. And it just, um, I just finished it by pulling um, some of the threads so they wouldn't unravel anymore, and then it's just clipped to this little board, and it sits um, in our, I don't know, we kind of have an open concept-ish house, so it sits in the living, dining, kitchen room <laughs> with the other bird stuff, some other bird stuff, so really, really like this. I really enjoy uh, Tracy Horner's Patreon. Um, I find that the size of her patterns is the perfect size for me to stitch, and I think I've stitched two or three of them. Someday maybe I'll stitch a full-sized Ink Circles mandala, but for now, this, this is pretty good for me. All right, so I'm, the next one I have is another fully finished, and this I will insert a photo of. Uh, this is a Lindy Stitches pattern called Beautiful Things. I stitched this for my sister's 40th birthday. It's stitched with all the called for flosses, which I, if I remember correctly, there it's a combination of DMC and fancy floss of some sort. I can't remember if it's classic color works or not. Um, and it is on, this is 36 count, I want to say Latte by, I think this is picture this plus fabric. I don't think it's side by name. It's one or the other. I know they both, I think they both have a shade of latte. Um, but I don't recall which one it is. And I just finished this myself in a, and this is a frame from Michael's. Um, if you stitch it on 36 count, which I think is what the pattern calls for, it fits an 11 by 14 frame. So it's beautiful things again by Lindy Stitches. Love this pattern. Um, you can see actually how many bird, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bird finishes and five of them are Lindy Stitches patterns. I might have a type folks. I might have a type. So the next three things I have to show you are finishes, but they're not fully finishes. Uh, this one is not Lindy Stitches. This is Cranky Owl by Modern Folk Embroidery. I love him so much. He is stitched on Mothwing by Forbidden Fiber Co. This is 36 count linen and the floss is Caterpillar by Classic Colorworks. He is just so adorable and cranky and I can't wait to have him FFO'd. I have a plan for him. I just need to buy um, a couple things to make it happen. All right, two more bird finishes. So the next one is a is more of a finish for now because there's three in the series, but um, finished for now. And I finished this recently. I finished this in November. Uh, this is the first bird I've stitched um, from the Autumn Royalty Stitches series by Lindy Stitches. So there's three patterns in this set. I'll put a photo here. And there's Lord of Gourds, Prince of Pies, and Count of Candy. This is Lord of Gourds. I'm going to stitch all three of them on the same piece of fabric. This is Diversity by Mystic Fabrics. It is a 32 count Lugana, I'm pretty sure. And I'm stitching it with all the called four colors. So eventually there will be one bird here and one bird here. And I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to put some sort of um, like stick border in between them so the words don't run together, but that's where I am so far. Lord of Gourds from the Autumn Royalty set by Lindy Stitches. And then my last one uh, is another Lindy Stitches pattern. So this is a kit you could purchase and I think these might still be available. Uh, this is called Sweater Vest Weather and it's a pattern to make a needle book uh, and it came, came with all of the finishing supplies and so this will be how does the book open? <laughs> this will be the front cover of the needle book and then it will open like this. And then this is the back cover. And there's the adorable, adorable little turkeys and sweater vests. So I finished this. Actually, I think I finished this on Thanksgiving this year. It was my Thanksgiving Day stitch. I was like, I'm going to stitch turkeys on Thanksgiving. So those are all the bird finishes I have had this year. And that is, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bird finishes. I lied, there are eight bird finishes. I decided this one is gonna get lumped in with birds because otherwise it goes in the other category and birds makes more sense because it's got a turkey on it. This is a Patreon pattern from when I was in Teresa Kogut's Patreon and it's called Be Thankful. It is stitched on 
Forbidden Fiber Co. Uh, Creme Brulee, 36 count linen, and it's stitched in classic colorworks that I um, I took the color palette from another from a heart and hand pattern that I had and I liked it. It's also a fall hall Thanksgiving themed pattern. So I was like, well, if the colors work for your trick for heart and hands turkey, they will also work for Teresa Kogut's turkey. So I uh, correct myself. I have eight bird finishes for 2023, two of which have turkeys on them. All right, my next set of finishes are sewing themed. Um, and then there's one that kind of doesn't fit anywhere. And so it's gonna go with these this, this set of four as well. Uh, so these are all, uh, three of them are just little smalls. So the first one is a freebie from Lindy Stitches that I think um, came with um, something that I purchased from her. And it is this little mouse holding a spool and it's very, very cute. Uh, I stitched this because I wanted, you know, a little sewing themed something to go in my in my sewing room. Usually it hangs over here. And I think it's stitched with the called for on maybe some frosty mint linen, or excuse me, Lugana. And then it's just finished as this little flat fold ornament. And it's just a cute little small. Nothing fancy that hangs out here. I think I'm sure I stitched this in a day because it's so tiny. The next two finishes are in the same color palette. Uh, I started them on the same day. So in 2023, I attended uh, the Acorns and Threads Acorn Gathering uh, mini retreat. Uh, that was in, in, I think, January of last year. And hopefully I, I, I'm signed up for this year. So hopefully that, that doesn't get <sighs> superseded by work. Um, so, excuse me. Um, the pattern designer for 2023 was Lindy Stitches, and she had a a big pattern with two bears on it and like a little bowl of acorns. And I decided I was just going to stitch the little bowl of acorns. And so here is that finish. And I just put my little 2023 charm on it. And then I've got this little little felt acorn that hangs out there. And I just finished it in this little hoop. This is stitched on Lugana by Zweigar, it's called, oh goodness, it's something rose, is it? It's like vintage country mocha, only it's the pink one. And it's called, I think it's called vintage, vintage rose. And I think it's really beautiful. I actually bought another piece of this because I liked it so much. And the colors are, um, they're all classic color works. I adjusted the the called for they're they're in the they're in the, the style of the called for I don't know how to say that better but that's what we're gonna go with they're they're in the spirit of what she called for I had just subbed out some fancy some of the fancy floss that was called for for classic color works and I believe the acorns are all in DMC uh, but it's really cute and it's a nice little memory perfect size memory of of acorn galleries 20, gathering 2023 I also stitched another piece using the exact same threads and the same fabric. And this is a freebie from Pantini Pantini called Please Enter Your Pin. So I just, so I made a little, I think, I again, folks, it's a pun. It's so funny. Uh, and I made this little pillow. It's filled with um, crushed walnut shells. And so same colors. This is, um, uh, I think this is DMC. And then you can see how pretty... This is Desert Mesquite by Classic Color Works here in the um, this spool of thread. Do you see how pretty the variegation makes it look? And then I just had some fabric from Stash. Um, and yeah, so those are the three sewing themed things that I finished. And then the other piece that's going to go in this section is a finish that's almost so close. Um, <laughs> this is by Heart and Hand. And this is one of the Doodles patterns. This is Doodles Spring which I think is so cute. Uh, it is just missing a button right here in the middle of the heart. You can see this loose thread here because I've dropped it on my sewing room floor and I'm still optimistically thinking I'm going to find it. Honestly, I should probably just give up, frame this and be done with it. But I think may maybe I'll find it one of these days. I'm not in a big hurry to get this finished, but I think if I don't find it by say like March 1st, I should just frame this and be done, right? Right? Uh, this is stitched with all the called for uh, which I believe is all classic color works. And this is hand dyed by Rolanda in 
I'm pretty sure this is olive. I've used this for a couple other things. Um, oh. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you another one thing. Another thing in a, in a minute in this video that I also stitched on the same fabric. I'm pretty sure this is olive, and it's a. I think it's a 16 count linen. I really, really like this actually. Like, look how cute those little birds are. I guess I could have put this in birds because there are birds on it, but I think it fits nicely in this little chunk of four pattern. So, um, yeah, those are all the sewing spring themed patterns. And now we'll move on to another category. All right, so my next set of patterns are, or finishes are, are in my craftiz craftivism category. And I'm going to start with the FF, the fully finished things, and then show you the finishes that, that need to be fully finished. Uh, so let's start with this one. So this is, it's called I Descent. Uh, you probably recognize that as Ruth Bader Ginsburg's uh, Descent Collar. And this is stitched on, this is chalkboard black linen. I think it's 30. I think it's 36 count or 32 count. And this is from a company called La Hoopla Co. You can find this on their Etsy shop. And it actually has a crown on top, but I will say this was, this was really hard to stitch. This, this is stitched in a, in a toile. And then this is in like three shades of gray. This was actually really hard to stitch. And by the time I had this stitch, there was no way I was going to stitch the crown. I just could I didn't have it in me. Plus the collar I felt was the, the piece that I, the part that I really liked. So this is just finished on a piece of um, foam board or mat board, and then it's just um, glued to this wood block. And it usually hangs out up here in most of my videos. Um, another finish that I have, or FFO that I have from this year, is this pattern. And I'm there with oh, the glares. Oh, it's not too bad. This is from Bendy Stitchy Designs. This is called Odd Worlds. Um, the world is odd and sometimes wonderful. The reason I consider this to be in my craft vision category is because it is a sister piece, uh, at least in my collection, to another pattern that she has called the Personal is Political. I stitched them in, they are about the same size, they have the same border, and I stitched them in the same exact color palette and they um, hang next to each other above my desk. I believe she charted this originally in a blue color palette, um, not this more, I don't know, mauvey, greeny, brown pattern palette. And the reason why I've stitched it in this is because I had this, uh, this is a stitchy box, I believe it's, it's a stitchy box silk that I got in a box and I pulled my palette from the variegated colors in that floss and this is just stitched on 32 count vintage country mocha and these little uh, little frames are from Target they're like 10 bucks at Target they're really nice so that is FFO number I think two uh, I'm including this even though it's patriotic in my craftivism I think I think patriot I think patriotism can be um, dissentful and 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 craftivism as well. So um, I stitched both these and finished them for uh, the 4th of July this year. And so they hang out together. Um, this is um, Little House Needleworks. Or Actually, hang on. I have it right. Yeah, Little House Needle Needleworks pattern. And this is Belle Swa silk. There was a silk pack with the pattern. And so the blue, the red, and the white came with this little pattern. You could buy a little kit. Um, and it just says Liberty, little flag on it. And then I just finished it as a little long pillow. It's also filled in, with walnut shells. And I think it's my <laughs> the only very blatantly like pro-America thing that I have. Um, uh, for 4th of July, and I like to I actually do like to put it with I Descent. I, I enjoy that. Uh, the other FFO that I have for 2023 um, in this is I finished this and framed it. I showed this in my floss tube a couple of videos back. This is by Yasmin's Made with Love. This is free on her Instagram account, and it just says a house divided cannot stand. 
uh, she designed and shared this um, after the I'm not sure what the correct words are right now but basically Palestine Gaza Israel because of that um, I'm not sure if we're calling it anyway I really like this this is stitched on I don't remember what the linen is um, it's some neutral color, and it is uh, Hugs and Kisses by Cottage Garden Threads. Look how gorgeous that variegation is. So beautiful. And really, really like this piece as well. And I'm also stitching another one that she did. Just pop that up there. Might as well decorate while I'm, I'm showing you things. All right, so the other things that I have for you, I'm gonna go in this order. Uh, this is, Called, uh, I call it Never Give Away Your Power. I'm not sure that it actually has a name. Uh, this is by Witch's Garden Crafts. And it was a freebie if you provided evidence that you voted in 2022, uh, which I did, and then I stitched it. Her colorway is actually the red and the pink flowers, pinkish red flowers are actually like a peach colorway in the charted design. Um, I didn't have those DMCs, so I just converted it to, you only need a light, a medium, and a dark. So I just picked um, three shades of pink red, and then the blues and the grays are as called for. And this is stitched on, uh, I don't recall. I think it's, I know it's, I think it's picture this plus Ada. I don't remember the name of the color, but I think I'm going to make this. I can't decide if I'm going to frame this, um, or if I'm going to make it into a pillow. It's a little, um... I think the like the, the length this way is good pillow length, but it's a little high for, for my liking. So I think it might get framed, um, but it's just been hanging out waiting for, for them. I think it'll fit in a five by seven frame. Yeah, it will. It just needs to get done. All right. The next piece is by Modern Folk Embroidery. This is called, um, this is the... Ukrainian word for peace. I'm not actually not 100% sure how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to. Um, but he had, I believe this is, I believe this was free. Don't quote me on that. Uh, Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery released it at the onset of the Ukraine Russian War, and I started it this year on the one year anniversary of the, of the, well, you know, when Russia invaded Ukraine and finished it a couple months later. Um, I had purchased a bunch of Ukrainian peace related pieces. So I was trying to not forget about that conflict as, you know, others, um, others arise because that's the world in which we live. This is stitched in two classic color works. Um, I, I want to say the yellow is gold star and the blue, I think maybe it's like granny Annie or something like that. But here, I'll just hold it up close, but it's really pretty, really pretty variegation. And this is, I believe this is vintage country mocha. Um, I have a lot of vintage country mocha. It's just a good, a good neutral background for a lot of things that I stitch. So I finished that this year. I think it's really, really beautiful. I need to get it. I need to do something with it. The next thing that I have is the first pattern from D's 20 stitches in their Let's Make a Statement series. And it says trans rights are more important than boy wizards. This is stitched on under the sea fabrics. Um, I can't remember what it's called, something about mermaids. And it's stitched with dinky dye silks. Um, I know that the blue in trans rights doesn't really show up against the fabric. I should have placed it better, but I really, really like it. I need to get it framed and then I have um, I think there's three. I know I own two of them. I need to stitch the second one that I purchased, which is, I think it says trans people are here and always have been or something like that. I'll put a picture here. Anyway, that's on my, on my potential new start list this year. Um, and I really like this. And in the original pattern, the, the, the words trans rights are, uh, called for in a variegated, Floss from Brennan Needle, 
which goes from pink to blue to what or white to blue I didn't have that so I just basically made up the variation you know I just stitched some randomly blue and then I switched to pink and then I switched to white and I just kept going to make it look right I think it turned out really nice and then the last thing that I finished this year, which I need to get this framed, I just, I'm having um, decision paralysis about how, how to finish this. It's going to get framed. Really, the decision is, should it be white or red? <laughs> which is like no decision at all, but that's where, that's, that's where we're living right now. Um, and this is, again, from Jacob at Modern Folk Embroidery, Move Forward in Love. I love this so much. Uh, this is stitched on... I think it's called it's uh forbidden fiber no fiberlicious yummy fiber 16 count lugana and like ashes to ashes or stormy nights or something 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 gray it's a gray and then the col the rainbow colors are some of the called for dmc some random colors i picked from stash um some of them are like my favorite like the purple is um rainy days from classic color works because that's my favorite variegated purple uh, the blue is the dmc so when when if you buy the pattern there is a monochromatic version and then there's also a color version and in, in the actual color version this is a combination of the two the color version has like a full-on flag and it's full coverage where it says move forward in love and i i didn't want to stitch the full coverage so i just sort of made it up as i went along and I really really love this I can't I need to frame this so anyway if if you have any opinions I think a red frame that echoes the border would be really nice um, but I also think a white frame would really let the colors you know pop I don't want I did not I kind of vetoed a black frame because all of this is in um, it's in a, a navy DMC and I didn't think black would look nice um, but I think it fits in just a standard 10 inch square frame. So it's really an easy thing to find. It's just a matter of, you know, decision paralysis, overcoming that decision paralysis that, you know, you've seen, you've now seen, I don't even know how many finishes that aren't fully finished. So you can see that might be a problem for me, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better. So those are all the craftivism related pieces that I have finished in 2023. And I have quite a few started or plan to start in 2024. So we'll see how that goes. All right, in this section, I'm gonna show all of my Halloween spooky FFOs. Well, and finishes. Um, I have 27, so this is gonna be long. I will say that I also showed probably all of these in my Halloween finish parade video, which I will link here. So if I don't include some details here that you're interested in, pro I think in that video I actually put the name and the designer of every single pattern um, in the video and I talked about them in a little bit more detail. I'm going to try to keep this part a little bit short and sweet because <laughs> there are 27. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to start with the smallest ones and then move on. So. Uh, in 2023, I was a member of a Patreon by the designer called Bad Stitch and they released a series of monthly mushrooms and I stitched three of them. And so here's January, January, February, and March. And they're all stitched on 40 count um, steel by, I think picture this plus in the called for, there's so much small in that, in that guy. And then here's February. Um, got those little, little happy snails and those little hearts in that mushroom cap. Super cute. And then here's March, which has those beautiful moons and stars. And I finished them all the same way in these, these small hoops with felt in the back. I really like those. Another small I stitched early on in January last year was this little freebie from Bendy Stitchy Designs. This was I think her Nashville freebie from like 2022 and then she released it on Patreon and the tildy goes to market and I just think it's a cute little witch looks like she's she's shopping or she's trick-or-treating um, and I don't remember what it's stitched on it's stitched with mostly the called for 
I also stitched this, which I absolutely love. This is Samhain Dreams by Barbara Anna Designs. This was in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher Magazine, the Fall 2022 edition. I have not seen this released um, by itself. And I stitched this on the Culper fabric, which is this sparkle gray um, linen. You can see like some of these little sparkly stars aren't stitched, they're actually on the fabric. I stitched it with uh, mostly the Culper for DMC. The orange was a, a DMC variegated, maybe Calaris. I didn't have that, so those are actually owl, the purple and the orange are actually owl forest over dyes, and I added the purple. The purple isn't in the called for, and I, so that purple flower and that purple flower and her hat band and her shirt aren't purple in the pattern. I think it's all oranges, and I think I changed the, her, her shirt a little bit, but I really, really love this. So again, another one of these plastic Beaubois hoops. Um, Next, this is a pattern by Cute Patterns by Maria. Hold on one second. Yeah, this is Cute Patterns by Maria. I also purchased, she's a Ukrainian designer, and I purchased this um, uh, in 2022, hashtag stitch for Ukraine. I really, really love this. I realized after the fact that there's actually some backstitching here that I missed, but I'm not going to fix it. This is on a, is Lugana? I just learned yeah, this is Lugana from um, Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. I don't remember what the name of it is, but it's this, if you can see, it's kind of like this really pretty, like kind of like twilighty thick situation with lots of colors. And that's all the called for DMC. And it's it's really gorgeous. I really like this. And this is just a little, um, I don't know, some seasonal decor that I got at like uh, TJ Maxx or something. And I think it's got some cheesy Christmas thing here. And I just popped this in. So I really like that. I need to find a place to put all of these over there. Um, I'm not going in the order in which these are finished. I'm going in the order in which they are piled in front of me. So this is another finish from this year. This is called Carnivorous Terrarium. This is, oh goodness, um, Lolo Crow. Lolo Crow cross stitch. Uh, this is available on her Etsy. Uh, this was the freebie that came at the end of the Greenhouse of Oddities stitch along, which I have not stitched, but I bought about halfway through and then got this and I've stitched this. And so this actually is the other thing that's on Olive by, um, uh, hand dyed by Rolanda. Or maybe this is Olive and this isn't. I don't remember. Anyway, I really like this. This is a frame from TJ Maxx and uh, usually this lives right up here. And I just, I love it. All right, next is by The Witchy Stitcher. You've probably seen many folks stitch this. This pattern's been out for a while. This is called Witchcrafts. Love this, love this so much. This is XU Design um, Elixir. No, Witch's Brew, Elixir. I think Witch's Brew is the green one and Elixir, Elixir is the purple one. Anyway, it is XU Design's purple. Uh, and it's stitched with mostly the called for. I swapped the 310 out for a black variegated. That's Raven by Forbidden Fiber Co. I also added some etoile. So some of the yellow is in the golds are in the DMC etoile versions of the called for. But I really love this too. And this also lives up here and then year round sometimes. And then uh, I got one other, so I've got two smalls, one fully finished and one almost fully finished from by Primrose Cottage Stitches. So they had a book called, I've got it right here, 13 Spooky Smalls, and I've stitched two of them, both, excuse me, Hocus Pocus themed. Many folks of my age, we all have a high nostalgia factor for the movie Hocus Pocus. And so this is the first little ornament that I made. This is Come We Fly. I love this vacuum cleaner. It is stitched in a hand dyed by, by Rolanda purple floss that's super variegated. And oop, it is just finished as a little flat fold ornament with some fabric on the back and some purple pom poms. Love it. And then I also stitched this one, which is in, in a, ooh, a stage, excuse me, of being um, FFO'd. It is uh, Hocus Pocus. And I'm just working on, I'm going to put it in a, a tart pan and just 
haven't gotten that far yet. So it's, I think I need to stretch this tighter because I my, it's not as good as it could be. Uh, but I really liked this too. This is stitched, I think the same black. I think these are two classic color works. Um, I don't remember what the black is called, but I'm pretty sure the orange is classic color works. That's all I can tell you. So, and then it's stitched on a piece of, this is, I know this is under, sea, the, under the sea fabrics ornament cup. I don't remember what it is, but just a cute little small um, that I finished this year. And then I've got two more looking around. Oh, no, I've got three more, four more fully finished things. And then I'll show you the things that are finished that um, haven't been fully finished yet. So I'm going to start with this big guy. You guys have seen this before. Um, in my very first video, I held this up as, I think I showed this in my very first Floss 2 video because I think that's about the time that I finished it. This is by Tiny Modernist. And this is called When Witches Go Riding. This was a four-part stitch along in 2020. Oh, there we go. And it is, it's gorgeous. Um, it is stitched on Mystic Fabrics Diversity. It's a Lugana. And it's stitched in the Caldboard DMC and Classic Color Works. And so there's three Classic Color Works in here, the gray, the purple, and the green. And then the black and the white are just DMC. And it's absolutely amazing. Love it. I love it. I love it. And it fit. This is a frame from Michael's. I don't know. I think it's maybe is it a 16 by. I don't know what size it is. 11 by 16. I don't know my frame sizes. But I was able to frame this myself, which is awesome because it was huge. And that would have been very expensive. So I'm sorry you're seeing the weird lighting that situation we've got going on here. But love this. All right. Ooh, hair going everywhere. Two more fully finishes, and then we'll move on to just the finishes. This is by Jardin Privé. This is embroidery Halloween. Is that correct? Patrick Halloween. Not embroidery Halloween. Patrick Halloween. I also really, really love this. This is stitched on Vintage Country Mocha, and it's in the Call for DMC, which is two greens, an orange, a black, and a white. It is, I absolutely love it. I'm considering stitching some of the other seasons. I think there's one for each season, like winter, spring, and then maybe some other holiday themed ones as well. But I just absolutely love this. I will say that border was a pain in the butt, but it looks really nice. And this is just framed in a, maybe not framed well, <laughs> but it's in a frame. Um, uh, I think this is a 8 or 10 inch square frame that I bought on Amazon and I bought two of them for this one and the other FFO that I'm about to show you, which is Baba Yaga by Al Forest Embroidery. And oh, they are 8, eight by 8 inch black wood green frames that I bought on Amazon. This one actually has the back on it so this won't fall out. <laughs> I bought the kit for this, so it's stitched in the kit fabric with the kit uh, over-dyed Owl Forest embroidery floss, and I love this too. I love every single one of those owls and Baba Yaga herself. Uh, one of my favorite finishes of all time. Just love Owl Forest. Love them so much. So that is all of the finishes that were fully finished in 2023. Oh, that's a lie. There's one more, but it's in this bottom of this pile because it's holding things together. I'll show you one more. This is the last one. This is called Stitching Witches. This is from Teresa the Coquette's Patreon as well. Um, and I turned it into a project bag. So this was the August, I know this was the August 2022 Patreon pattern because I joined Patreon because I wanted to stitch this. And I have not seen it released. Um, you might be able to, if you are in her Patreon and you weren't a Patreon patron in 2022, I think this is in the secret shop, but I haven't been a member for a little while, so I can't confirm or deny that. So this is stitched on Vintage Country Mocha in mostly the called for DMC. I did sub some overdyes because I could, um, like the green here. I'm pretty sure this is Closet Color Works Mossy. This is an over -dyed. You can really see the variegation in her skirt. And then I changed, she's got green face 
and I changed her skin color because she had a green skirt and I changed her hair so that they would they would you know not be matchy matchy um, but I love this so much and I love this this project bag I think turned out really it's got fuzz all over it turned out really cute so I'm hoping to make more project bags this year with some of my stitched pieces because um, I find them they're very functional and I just love it like these witches are stitching they're cross stitching and there's a cross stitch project in this bag what is in this bag? Oh, got the Morbs is in this bag. I don't label things, clearly. All right, so next is a pile of things that are finished, but not fully finished. So I'm just gonna pick them up in the order in which they are stacked here. And some of them are folded a little funky because um, I've been like testing out how I wanna fully finish them. And so they get, they get folded in weird ways to make, so I can visualize what they're gonna look like. I'm not really good at like, like looking at something without, you know, piecing it all together to figure out how it's going to look at the end. I just kind of wing it. If I don't have to wing it, I prefer that. But sometimes you just have to wing it. So this is the first one that's in the top of the pile. So this is Two Pumpkins Bright by Hello from Liz Matthews. And I just love this. This is stitched in all the called for. I am 99% sure it's all the called for. I believe it's all classic color works. I think maybe I changed one of the black in the in the urn, but I don't think that made a big difference. And I think this is Winter Woolens, 36 count by Seraphim Fabrics. Um, and I'm gonna eventually finish it like this and stick it on a thing <laughs> for next year. For next year. Next in the pile are some Halloween quirky Quakers. I stitched these all on um, the same strip of like scrap fabric and I stitched three of them or I'm in the process of stitching or I finished two I uh, can't remember this might I think in this picture this plus Fowler um, but here's the first one this is quirky Quaker cauldron and then this is quirky Quaker witch hat and then just because it's here ghost is in progress but they're stitched with all the same floss so this is from a hand dyed by Rolanda Halloween floss pack that I had purchased in last year I think and there's a variegated like this orange purple green is one variegated and then there's a variegated black in there and a purple and I just I think the only thing I had to add was like this yellow because there wasn't a yellow so um, I fussy I, I fussy cut to stitch the cauldron and just the purples and the greens and I'm really happy with how that turned out and I'll show you the, the witch hat close up because it's really cute. Some fuzz on there. And then Ghosty just as a bonus, even though he's not done yet. He won't take me very long. Just I, he, there's still a needle and thread right there. So I could pick that up and finish it anytime. But yeah, I really like those. I have one more Halloween one in my stash. I've got the freebie, which is the candy corn. And so I've had, I, I should have fit them all on here, but I didn't. That's okay. That's okay. Those ghosty will get finished this year, and then I will have three more little Halloween ornaments for my Halloween tree for this year, which I'm excited about. All right, the next thing I have is by the Witchy Stitcher. This I started on October 1st on Witchy Stitcher Day and finished that same month, I believe. Um, this is called The Witch's Inn. And it is on Forbidden Fiber Co. 36 Count Linen in Erie. And it is stitched with, I believe, all the called for. Oops, I missed. There's a pin stitch that. Oops, that's a mess. I'll have to fix that. The only changes I made were I used the um, a 12 version of the green, which I'm sure you can't see, to stitch like the little. You can see it a little bit to stitch all these little doodads. And then she had um, like light colored, like I don't know, peach skin in the pattern. I changed it to green just so I only needed to use basically two colors and then the skull is white. Um, I think I'm going to turn this into a bookmark. I took the bookmark finishing class that Tiny Modernist did at the Jingle Ball, so I think this will make a really cute bookmark. It might also make a really cute like door hanger, but I think I'll use a bookmark more. I just really love, I mean this witch, like look how good that witch is. Like this could almost be two smalls which would have been really cute, but this is what I did. All right, next is also by Hello from Liz Matthews. So this is called Boo. 
This is, this was originally in Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine in the fall 2022 issue. And then she released it this year as a standalone pattern. And this is stitched on, I know it's Forbidden Fiber Co. It's one of the ones I got in my fabric of the month. I can't remember the name of the color. I wanted it to be, I like this big blobby splotch here. And I'm kind of regretting not moving it down here because I'm going to make a pillow out of this. And most of that's all going to get cut off. But it's still very cute. I think this is, I don't think I stitched this in the called bar, but I think it is in like the spirit of the called for. I, I'm 99% sure that this is the next piece I'm going to show you. I think I took these flosses and used them to stitch this because one thing that I like to do is if an artist designer has already like put together a color palette for say Halloween or a fall piece. And some, you know, I've got another pattern that is generally a small where I don't want to go out and like kit that up. I'll just pick the colors because they already go together because someone more talented than I already, you know, did that. And if you're, and if it's Kathy Barrick, you're going to do what she does, right? So this is uh, Kathy Barrick's Autumn Pin Drum, only it is not going to be a pin drum because I quit stitching it. It is going to get framed like this. There should be, this should be here. I just didn't, I'm done. So this is my version of Autumn Pindrum, which won't be a Pindrum by Kathy Barrick, Stitch Up All It Called For. I am pretty sure I bought a like fully kitted because this is the piece of fabric that came and it is cut specifically to be the Pindrum size. And so it is the kit fabric and the kit flaw, or the called for in all ways. I can't remember what the called for fabric is. It's nice. I think it might be Heartland by the dyer that makes Heartland, which everyone knows, but I, I could be completely wrong. But I really like this. I really like the owls on this. This is what drew it to me, of course. And yeah. All right, two, two more in the pile. Um, this is a pattern that was in um, Just Cross Stitch magazine. I want to say it's in the October or the Halloween 2020 issue um, because I started stitching it in 2020. And this is called Something Wicked. And it's stitched on 16 count white Ada and the called for DMC, which is just black, orange, and gray. And I think, did I do it? Oh, I did. I, Wicked is in, is in black etoile, but you can't tell, I don't think. And this is actually charted much larger. I just was also done with it. It has two more borders here and then more up on the top. I just was done. This was a lot of repetitive stitching and I didn't want to do it anymore. But I think it's super cute as is. And if I didn't tell you that, you wouldn't have known. So, but you know, I like to overshare. So I think this is gonna make a really great bag panel. Whether I just make a pouch that is this size um, or I put this into a project bag, that's what's gonna happen with this. And I think it's gonna be perfect, absolutely perfect like that. And then my last Halloween finish, I feel like there's more, but, oh, I am missing a couple. Okay, there's one more that I have to, I'll have to put a picture in. Um, oh, crap. And, hang on, there are three more, but they got left on the other side of my laptop. All right, there's a couple more. All right, one more FF, one more finish, and then I've got two pillows here that just were out of, out of sight, out of sight, out of mind. This is... Sleepy Hollow by Hello from Ms. Matthews. I love this so much. This is 32 count vintage country mocha. And this is stitched with all the called for DMC. Is it 32 count? This might be 36 count. And I stitched it two over two because they're really nice and fluffy and I like that. Ah, uh, look at all those owls. So many adorable owls. Really beautiful. I have, I think I've stitched three of Liz Matthews um, Halloween patterns. Uh, they have these adorable pumpkins on them. I've stitched this, I've stitched Boo, and I've stitched Two Pumpkins Bright, and I love them all. I just, I think that, I just really like this style, and I just, I mean, look at that little owl. Anyway, I could go on, but I will stop, because I'm already, I've, I've been chatting enough. So, I would like to get this frame this year. It's a weird size, so I think I'm actually going to have to, like, take it somewhere and get it framed. Um, I'm going to Acorn Gatherings at the end of January at Acorns and Threads, so I'm thinking about taking it up then and having it be my first piece that's professionally framed, but we shall see.
All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I have two pillows here in front of me that I finished this year. This is Blackbirds on a Pumpkin by Rosewood Manor. This is also in a Just Cross Stitch magazine. Uh, I don't remember which one. I don't know if you can get this one, but this is stitched on Autumnal Orchard by uh, Fiberlicious Family Fibers. Really beautiful orange and red and green variegated fabric. Really kind of busy, but I thought with all of the colors here that they would kind of play nicely together, and I, and I think it works. Uh, this is not stitched with any of the called for. It's stitched with whatever made sense. Um, there are a ton of colors in this and a ton of floss changes. It was kind of a pain in the butt, but it is very cute. And it's filled with walnut shells and it's just finished with a little patch on the back. This nice orange fabric. That's one of my little Halloween pillows. And then this is another little Halloween pillow. This is by Shepherd's Bush. This is a kit that you can buy at their store. It's called um, A Witching Season. So that's A Witching Season right there. It comes with all of the floss, the fabric, the chenille trim, and the backing fabric. And uh, look at that little witch. I really love it. It's very cute. I think it needs to be a little fuller, but it, it is what it is. I'm not refilling it. <clears throat> Um, all right, I have one more and it's going to be a picture. Uh, this is Murray Halloween. Uh, I stitched this for my niece. This is a pattern by Pixel Pixie X Stitch. Um, in honor of an ornament that I made, Christy from P Pixel Pixie named that rat Murray or the mouse Murray. It's, a, it's really a mouse in her mind, but it's a rat in mine. Um, and then she released this for Halloween. So I immediately purchased it and stitched it and sent it to my niece. It's on, I don't remember, I know it's on a purple fabric and then it's stitched with the called for or something very similar, like I think the orange might not be the exact orange that was called for, but it's, I mean, they're candy corns, it's close enough. So that is it. That is my last, I think I made it through all 27. If I miss, oh, actually, huh, folks, <laughs> I thought I did a good job pulling everything from my list, but apparently I missed another one. Luckily, it was right here. This is a little needle book I made from a pattern by Scissor Tail Designs called Purple Pumpkin Pin Keeps. And clearly, I did not make a pin keep. I made a needle book because I don't need any more pin pillows. And I just turned it into a little, there's some little felt and a neat on the inside. And it's stitched on, um, oh, what's the name of this one? It's a purple Lugana. I think that's also, uh, oh, it's a forbidden, it's a Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers purple and green um, Lugana that I've stitched a couple of things on and I, the name is escaping me, but it is very cute and it's just a nice little holiday pin keep or needle book. So with that, that is all of my Halloween slash spooky finishes for 2023. Now I'm going to show you all of the, the Christmas holiday stitching that I completed in 2023 and I only have six, which is not great because I really need to have eight or ten to be actually done with everything I was supposed to be have done this year, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to film these and then if I do finish more, I will add them in as, you know, small clips. Um, in this section. So we shall see what that looks like. You might see them, you might not. So the first thing that I finished in 2023 <clears throat> was this. This is the 2022 Holiday Countdown Style, the collaboration between Evertotes, Roxy Flosco, and Modern Folk Embroidery. It was a Friesen BAM sampler. And I finished this in January. I was behind just like I am this year. Uh, and I'm going to turn it into a needle book. Um, so I've seen a couple of folks do this, make this, do this finish already on, um, on Instagram and on other floss tubes. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to do the same. I just actually got in the last couple weeks, some wool felt so that I can actually make that happen. So I'm very excited about this, getting this fully finished. Um, I think I might try to do that this week. 
All right, the next thing that I fully finished, <clears throat> actually, no, none of the, none of the things I'm going to show you in, on the video are fully finished. I've got one, one ornament full, that's fully finished that I will show you a picture of, um, at the end of this, once I get through these books. Um, this is the next one. This is We Santa 2022 by Heart and Hand. Um, it would be really easy to fully finish this. I just don't like the frame that I bought. It's too, um. I bought a white barnwood frame. It's just too rustic for my for my liking. Um, I don't know. Sorry, sorry for. I just keep playing with my hair. My parts off and it bothers me. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> let's focus on the stitching, Elizabeth. Focus on the stitching. This is stitched in mostly the called for classic colorworks. I know the pink is the called for. I think the brown is not because uh, I figured I felt like I had I had brown and that wasn't super important. It's stitched on. I think this is Sakura. Lugana from Fiberlicious Emmy Fibers. Uh, I think the called for is um, like a neutral. This is this is very clearly a, a pale pink, which I really like. Um, I think he's super cute. Oh, hang on. There's a thread on him, and you can see there's there's little beads that came with the kit or came with the pattern. And if I didn't say this is heart in hand, she does a a wee Santa every year. That's the only one that I've stitched. Uh, my next finish was for this year's Jingle Ball, and that's why, even though it probably doesn't look necessarily very Christmassy, because it was a Jingle Ball pattern um, from a pattern set called Seas and Greetings by Ink Circles. That's why it's getting included with this set. I love this color palette. It is uh, all classic color works, and this is Stormy Night by Forbidden Fiber Co. And I'm all going to put in a picture of the ornament that I made for my niece. This is an adaptation of Lindy Stitch's Shining Fish uh, with a quote from a song called If I Were a Fish on it. And it's the same colors. It's the same fabric and the same exact classic color works um, as this. Oh, you can see the sun just came out. You see my hair is like glowing. Um, it is weirdly a very sunny, sunny Christmas Eve day here in Oregon. Um, I was kind of expecting a rainy, actually it was raining about an hour ago. Again, if you don't like the weather in Oregon, wait five minutes. Um, so anyway, we got some nice lighting coming in <laughs> for the end of my filming today. I have two more finishes, uh, that I have ready to go. This is <clears throat> Hello from Liz Matthews, Second Day of Christmas. This is stitched with all the called for DMC on 40 count fog linen. Absolutely love this. I have day three on the go. Hopefully I will get that finished in the next week or so and then on to the rest. And that this was just a quick little finish just for me. This is Christmas Cookies by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is uh, Lugana. It's called Aloe from the Other Side by Brain. Oh. Uh, Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers, called for DMC and Classic Color Works, except that the I changed the turquoise to be more turquoisey because that's the color of the Pyrex I have. Super cute. It's going to be a little stand-up. Um, hopefully I'll get it done this week. And then I'll put it away for next year. So that are all my Christmas finishes. You may see more after this if I get some more finished today before or before I post this video. I have one more finished to sneak into this video. Uh, so the day I filmed the rest of that, uh, while I was editing and doing other things, I was cross-stitching and I was making my partner's Christmas ornament. And here it is. It is from a four-pack of patterns by Pickle Barrel Designs. Uh, actually, you know what? Hang on, I've got it right here. I'm um, called Christmas Spin. And I stitched this one, the stocking that says Well Hung. And I finished it into this little flat fold. I'm probably gonna stitch 2023 and stick it on the back, and I might put some, probably gonna put some trim around it. But for the purpose of this video, um, here it is. And here are the flosses. So I stitched it with uh, this is a Seraphim Winter Woolens, Woolens, a scrap that I had left. I think it's 36 count. And I stitched it one over two with mainly with these two flosses. Um, this is. Hugs and Kisses by Cottage Garden Threads and uh, Mistletoe by um, Classic Color Works. So, turned out really cute. 
I think it's hilarious. Thank you all for watching my 2023 finish parade. I had 50, the time of this filming, 53 finishes that I I filmed. Um, hopefully I might end up at like, I'm anticipating I'm going to end up at like 56 or 57 if I get my act together and get the things done that I want to get done in the next, I mean, there's a week left in 2023, so we shall see. Uh, regardless, thank you so much for watching. Um, I appreciate that you're spending your time, your whip, precious whip parade and finish parade time with me. And I will see you all soon. Thanks, folks.